Hey there, everybody. It's been a long time since I've done a serious video here, long form video. I figured I'd get back into it. I um, I picked up this book oh, about a year or two ago now, and uh, it's called Mastering Perspective: Techniques of, for Mastering One, Two, and Three Point Perspective. Now, it's always good to go over this kind of like anatomy, kind of go over the basics once in a while. Um, because you, if you know, if you're into cartooning or drawing, once in a while you're going to need to learn some basic uh, one, two uh, point, maybe even three point perspective um, when you have the character out and about, uh, outside, um, even inside in rooms, but outside in buildings and cityscapes and things like that. Um, so I figured we tackle some of the stuff in the first chapter. It kind of goes over the history of perspective and how it came to be. And that's all fascinating stuff. It's all good stuff. The kind of pencils to use. Um, I'm going to stick with uh, my mechanical pencil. But I'll, it says to some of the exercises use uh, the non-photo blue pencil, which is what's pretty cool it's what i use for my uh comic illustrations so these are the kind of erasers these magic rub erasers are pretty good um i have a triangle eraser i'm gonna i'm gonna grab from downstairs so uh of course bristle board good stuff i got some um as you can see here a big sketchbook at uh strathmore sketchbook there it's a little bit bigger than i wanted it to be so i'm going to bring up when i do this exercise i'm just going to kind of have it right here we'll do a, we're going to do a basic one point perspective exercise here tape you know you can use tape to uh tape down the edges of the paper when it, across the board don't need to do that with the sketchbook of course t-squares and triangles um, if you ever if you ever taken a drafting class, uh, sometimes they had the we had an, a long adjustable ruler that kind of went up and down the board, uh, which was nice, um, and you can line up the triangle on that. But I don't have that for this, so I'll be working on a wooden TB tray <laughs> table. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> this is the the last item. Here it says uh, is music. I like to to make a good digital playlist that runs about four and a half hours before I start a project. That way, that way I can get lost in the world of creating and not waste time trying to find something playing in the background. That's an interesting idea. Make a playlist. So this is a very modern book here we got that incorporates the uh, digital world. Um, let's see. All right, we have our tools and our workspace ready. It's time to get to work. One point perspective. I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm just going to kind of go over the highlights. Here they have the vanishing point um, that you're going to draw lines from. And they're talking about being accurate as possible. See here, you can see how if you're not as accurate, if you just do a dot, which I do a lot. I do do dots, but see how messed up it can look if you just do the dot. If you do an X, you tend to draw a little bit straighter to the uh, the vanishing point horizon line, the vanishing point there. Which I, this is something I learned. You know, that's good. This is why I kind of go back to the basics here. Um, this is what we're going to be doing here. One point perspective. This is the horizon line there. It's all going to be coming from that X coming out at you. And a lot of buildings use one point perspective um, in building shots. When you in, in comics and things like that, you see that a lot. One point, and you notice how it can, it can go down as well. Of course, this is the horizon, the horizon line, the vanishing point perspective lines pretty self-explanatory and here's the here's the uh, basic steps 
horizon line, which I'll measure out with the with the ruler, the triangle, and then drawing to each point. Step three. Uh, that was two and three, I guess. This is step four. And uh, drawing through the square there to the va vanishing point. And then, of course, finishing it like that. I'll put mark there. Uh, step six. Uh, drawing the fourth line and then drawing a square within that that connects everything and that's on the same angle step seven and then step eight uh, committing to the final lines darkening tracing over the final lines of the cube and then step nine erase your perspective lines clean up your final cube lines you know have a nicely rendered three-dimensional block well a lot of these times I've drawn these so many times, three-dimensional blocks, that I don't go through the effort of doing all this. I just kind of eyeball it, and I've done it so many times where I can I can do it without the vanishing point, although it's not as accurate as if you... But it's not as accurate if you used a vanishing point uh, line. And they're saying that you know, you can make it longer, bring it back for a longer kind of rectangle cube. So we'll focus on that. Eventually we'll get in the shapes, which is something I've been covering a lot in my short videos lately. Um, shapes in three dimensions. All right, so with that, I'll start up the actual class here and go from here. Okay, so here we go. Starting step one. Okay, the basic. Uh, let's learn how to draw a simple box using one point perspective. The basic step by step. All right. Put my bookmark back in there. So basically, I'm going to measure each side. I can do that with centimeters or inches. I'm going to bring it up around here so you guys can see it the best. Around uh, four inches. But, uh, yeah, let's do that. Now make sure you're lining it up at the bottom of the paper, not the bottom of the pad. Which can happen easily if you're not watching it. So I'll go up to four right here. pretty close this one I'll use notice I got a whole bunch of different <laughs> triangle squares um, a good thing to do is like when you can't make it all the way across with one ruler really I should be just using a ruler here but don't have one on me right now um, I'll do a dot in the middle too in the halfway point. Alright, now. Now you draw better. Horizon line. There you go. Okay. Uh, but it's not even it's because my pad's not even on the uh, on the table here or the camera's a little off. So square. It says tape the paper to your drawing board at the four corners to keep it secure. Draw draw a horizon line across the page and then place a vanishing point. Use an X about halfway across. Uh, 
so again tape the paper if you're doing this at home and you're taping the paper uh, you know you cut something like this off tape it with like a masking tape on each corner you know I just got to make sure I, I keep this still that it doesn't move from this this point here I'll, I'll try to straighten it out a little bit more halfway across this is pretty good I already have the halfway point I could use this as my vanishing point all right then step two draw a square above the horizon line keep the lines light using gentle pressure keywords gentle pressure or a non photo blue pencil the square should be even so take your time So, I think people would struggle just drawing the square. Um, so what I'm going to do is use my old technique that, that I learned in um, drafting class. How do you draw the perfect square? Well, you draw the perfect circle. So, right here, because I want to get in the shot. Oh. Focus is kind of going off. still see there we go now we're back in focus a little bit so let's see I think I get that screwed up how do you draw a perfect circle you know perfect square so if I wanted to do a circle I could just do this but I'm not shouldn't be trying to draw a circle so I'm just gonna do the basics that's like the fundamental you would do a do circle in there but I want to keep it real light light sketchy lines also what you could do is you could get some kind of square you know for example a dice but something bigger than this you can put down there and just trace you know Okay, so that's pretty light. I can always erase it fairly easily. Um, the lighter the better. I got a little too dark on those two points, but okay. So that's your step one. Step two, draw a square above the horizon line. Keep the lines uh, light using gentle pressure. Oh uh, yeah, I already, I already said that. Um, step three, start at the vanishing point, draw a line from the direct center of the X to the bottom left corner of the square. Make sure you are precise uh, starting at the center of the vanishing point and hitting that bottom corner. Accuracy counts. So, yeah. This is going to be from here to there. So I'll use the smaller triangle try to get in the middle as much as possible there we go we're on we're on our way keep it keep the pressure very light very light you know too many people I've worked with or have uh, tutored have not been able to keep things light enough. So it takes constant vi uh, vigilance to do that. So that's the first three steps. Uh, meet me back here in the next video uh, for the next three. And remember, it's only 10 seconds a day.